Like two rivers flowing in opposite directions, the trucking industries in America and Europe have carved out two distinct paths, shaped by unique landscapes of regulation, innovation, and tradition. From the look of the cabs to the tech inside, and from emissions to automation, America and Europe are taking different roads in trucking. But just how far behind is the US trucking industry compared to Europe's? Let's dive in and explore the differences in truck design, infrastructure, and more. Now take a look at a modern European truck, and you'll notice something right away. Most of them are cab overs. Leading European truck manufacturers, including Scania, MAN, HVS, are pushing the boundaries of truck design, making sure drivers have the space, comfort, and agility they need to get the job done. These trucks are perfect for weaving through tight city streets and meeting Europe's strict length limits, making them the top choice for truckers across the continent. Imagine a truck that's as intuitive as a luxury car and as rugged as a workhorse. That's what you get with Scania's latest lineup, where innovative design meets cutting-edge tech. These state-of-the-art trucks are equipped with numerous advanced features, such as Scania's low-entry cab design, designed to optimize driver visibility and comfort. However, in the United States, despite global design trends, the long-nosed truck continues to thrive, where its reputation for reliability, driver comfort, and classic styling has solidified its position as an industry icon. Unlike those compact cab over design trucks, long nose rigs offer a bunch of benefits that make them the top choice for many truckers and fleets. The enduring popularity of these trucks is a reflection of their ability to tap into the American psyche, transcending their functional purpose to become a cultural icon that embodies the values of capacity, freedom, and exploration. Moreover, the fact that conventional trucks make engine maintenance a breeze is a major reason they're so common in North America. While cab over engine designs require a cumbersome tilt cab procedure for maintenance, long nose trucks offer a refreshingly simple solution. Just pop the hood and get to work. When it comes to navigating city streets, European cab over trucks are the clear winners. But for long haul highways, American long nose trucks offer a more comfortable ride and easier engine maintenance. The reason for these design differences lies in infrastructure and regulations. But as cities grow and fuel efficiency becomes a bigger priority, America might need to rethink its truck design strategy. For decades, diesel trucks have been the backbone of global commerce, connecting producers and consumers across vast distances and diverse landscapes. With the world shifting toward cleaner energy, trucking companies are under the gun to cut emissions without losing any of the horsepower that keeps them moving. So who's winning the clean engine race? Will we see a single winner, or will these two approaches continue to run side by side? In Europe, the emissions regulatory landscape is a gauntlet of increasingly stringent standards. Thanks to the Euro 6 standard, diesel engines have gone a whole lot cleaner. Manufacturers had to cut NOx and PM emissions to near zero, and they delivered. But here's the thing. The emissions regulations are getting tougher. Euro 7 is just around the corner and it's going to push the industry to reduce CO2 and air pollutants even further. The quest for cleaner, greener trucks has led European manufacturers to the cutting edge of engine technology. Common rail injection is just one of the innovations that's helping Scania, Volvo, and Daimler and Iveco stay ahead of the emissions curve. While diesel engines continue to evolve, the most profound innovation is happening in alternative fuel sources and technologies. The emergence of LNG-powered trucks has provided a viable alternative to traditional diesel engines, with manufacturers like Iveco leveraging liquefied natural gas to reduce emissions and increasing driving range. Like two sides of the same coin, the landscapes of Europe and North America reveal distinct personalities. In the US and Canada, truck makers have had to step up their emissions game to meet tougher EPA and CARB regulations. While Europe has focused on stringent emissions regulations, the North American approach has sought to balance environmental concerns with the practical demands of long-haul trucking. Clean diesel tech has come a long way, thanks to companies like Cummins and Freightliner. But alternative fuels are still playing catch-up. That's why the rise of electric and hydrogen trucks from companies like Tesla, Nikola, and Freightliner is such a big deal in North America. It's clear that Europe's emissions regulations are pushing the industry to innovate faster, resulting in more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly engines. However, the US is catching up. Regulatory inconsistencies are a major obstacle. Converging standards could be the key to unlocking a more sustainable future. When it comes to truck transmissions, Europe and North America are worlds apart. One loves automation, the other sticks to tradition. 
While European trucks are increasingly adopting automated manual transmissions, or AMTSs, for improved fuel efficiency and smoother operation, North American trucks continue to exhibit a mix of traditional manual and automated transmissions. Now, let's take a look at how transmission technology differs between European and North American trucks, and what that means for performances, fuel economy, and driving experience. European trucking has gone all in on automation, making AMTS is the go-to choice for the industry. These transmissions offer the best of both worlds, the fuel efficiency of a manual and the ease of an automatic, making it easier for trucks to run at peak performance. And that's not all. Modern European trucks are also super smart, with advanced driver assistance systems that work hand-in-hand -hand with the drivetrain. Imagine a system that's always one step ahead, reading the road and adjusting gears for maximum efficiency. That's exactly what Volvo's iShift, Scania's Optic Cruise, and Mercedes-Benz's PowerShift do. These trucks are designed to optimize every gear change, which means less fuel consumption, lower maintenance costs, and happier drivers. But in North America, trucking is a different ballgame. It's a mix of old-school manual transmissions and modern automated manual transmissions. While automated manual transmissions are becoming more popular among large fleets, many veteran truckers swear by traditional manual transmissions for their reliability and tactile control. Nevertheless, automated manual transmissions are rapidly increasing in popularity. AMTSs from Freightliner, Peterbilt, and Kenworth are now giving European models a run for their money, and with ADAS features like adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, and lane keeping assist becoming more common in American trucks, drivers can stay safer while still getting the job done efficiently. Despite all the automation options, many truckers still prefer the control and precision of a manual transmission, especially for heavy haul and mountainous routes. Europe may be ahead of the curve in adopting AMTSs, but North America is catching up at its own pace, with manual transmissions still popular among veteran drivers and specific applications. Although the future may see the US follow Europe's lead as ADAS technology improves and fuel regulations tighten. As the trucking industry continues to evolve, Europe and North America are charting their own courses to improve safety. So, how do Europe and North America measure up when it comes to cutting-edge trucking safety? Let's take a closer look. If there's one thing European trucks are known for, it's being at the forefront of safety innovation. Thanks to tough European Union rules, most new trucks are now packed with the latest safety gadgets. One of the standout safety features is lane departure warning, which helps prevent drivers from drifting out of their lane and into trouble. With adaptive cruise control ACC, you can cruise safely as it automatically adjusts your speed to maintain a safe following distance. And then there's automatic emergency braking, a lifesaver that kicks in when the driver doesn't react quickly enough, automatically hitting the brakes to prevent a crash. Imagine having an extra set of eyes on the road, watching out for potential hazards in your blind spots. That's what blind spot monitoring offers, providing an additional layer of safety for pedestrians and truckers alike. And to tackle the dangers of bad weather and rough roads, trucks are equipped with electronic stability controls, which helps prevent accidents caused by skidding or rollovers. So what makes Europe unique is that many of these features aren't just nice to have, they're actually required by law. As a result, safety tech becomes the norm fast, and every truck on the road has to step up to meet the same safety standards. Unlike Europe, where safety features have been the norm for years, North American truck manufacturers and fleets are now catching up. And it's not just because they're being forced to. A new era of safety is emerging in North American trucking, as fleets voluntarily adopt advanced features like AEB and ACC, setting a higher standard for the industry. And there's more. Since 2017, all large trucks are required to have electric stability control, which helps helps prevent rollovers and keep roads safer. And let's not forget about lane departure warning and collision avoidance. These features are becoming more mainstream, especially in high-end trucks, but aren't yet required on all vehicles. The list isn't complete though without mentioning AI-based telematics, a unique space where North America is innovating using AI to monitor driver behavior and enhance fleet safety. In the end, Europe and North America are on the same page when it comes to road safety. They just have different ways of getting there. Europe's tough regulations means safety features get adopted quickly, while North America takes a more laid-back approach, letting the industry take the lead. Chances are, though, the US and Canada will eventually make these features mandatory, just like Europe. But for now, trucking companies and drivers still have some say in how much tech they want to use. But what's your take? Should North America require these safety features or let companies adopt them at their own pace. Now that we've covered safety regulations, let's move on to regulation and infrastructure. 
Have you ever wondered why American trucks look so different from European ones, especially when it comes to the hood? When it comes down to it, truck design is all about regulations and infrastructure. And that's why you see such different trucks in Europe and North America. Now let's dive in and take a closer look. North American trucks are known for their size. They're often longer and heavier than those found in Europe. With wide highways and fewer weight restrictions, North America is the perfect place for massive long-haul rigs with huge sleeper cabs. In North America, trailers can be up to 53 feet or 16.2 meters long and weigh up to 80,000 pounds or 36,287 kilograms or even more in some states. This means trucks need to be long and powerful with big hoods, conventional trucks for better aerodynamics and engine access. Europe, on the other hand, has its own way of doing things. In Europe's tight urban jungle, only the most compact and agile trucks can thrive. While American trucks are known for their size, European trucks are designed to be more compact, with length and weight limits of 16.5 meters or 54 feet and 40 metric tons, which is 88,185 pounds, respectively. The COE design is the way to go. Imagine cruising down a flat open highway with miles and miles of nothing but roads stretching out before you. American roads are made for big trucks, with long wheelbases that make for a smoother ride and more comfortable cabs. Now imagine driving a huge rig like that down super narrow medieval towns, tight roundabouts, and roads that twist and turn. That's what European truckers deal with every day, and when it comes to reducing emissions. Europe has been one step ahead of the game, with stricter rules and regulations than the US. To meet EPA standards, American trucks use a combo of technologies like diesel particulate filters, selective catalytic reduction, and exhaust gas recirculation. On the flip side in Europe, the Euro 6 standards means manufacturers have to move quickly to reduce emissions, which is driving innovation in cleaner technologies. Long haul trucking isn't just about driving, it's about living on the road. And that's why sleeper cabs come equipped with all the essentials, from beds to TVs to mini fridges. Europe is a different ballgame though when it comes to safety tech. Regulators there are super keen on it, and many features are required by law. Trucking is on the cusp of a revolution though. And the big question is, who will be the first to make automated trucks a reality? While both Europe and North America are actively promoting the development of automated trucking, their methodologies and priorities diverge significantly. Now let's buckle up and hit the highway to see who's shifting automated trucking into high gear. Europe is taking a different approach to automated trucking. Instead of going all in on driverless trucks, they're focusing on platooning, which lets trucks drive in automated convoys and save fuel. Europe is really making big moves as level 4 automation is becoming a reality thanks to companies like Daimler, Scania, and Volvo, which are developing self-driving trucks for specific situations. Autonomous trucks testing is underway in countries like Germany, Sweden, and the Netherlands, where governments are providing crucial support. Rather than rushing into automation, Europe is playing the long game, focusing on coordinated, multi-country rollout of new technologies. Now let's head over to the US, where they've got the tech, the roads, and the drive to innovate, but the regulations are a mess. While states like Texas and Arizona are welcoming self-driving trucks with open arms, others are taking a more cautious approach, which is slowing down adoption. Undeterred by regulatory hurdles, companies like Waymo, Aurora, and Too Simple were aggressively testing autonomous trucks nationwide. Tesla's also in the game developing autopilot and full self-driving for trucks, it's just not quite yet ready for prime time though. And last but not least, the US has a huge advantage when it comes to long haul automation. It's vast highways, but there's a major catch. The lack of nationwide regulatory framework. And one thing is certain, the US is moving fast on autonomous trucking, but inconsistent laws are a major roadblock to getting these trucks on the road. The big question is though on everyone's mind, is that who will cross the finish line first in the autonomous trucking race? Europe's structured approach to autonomous trucking might just give the edge it needs to deploy automated convoys first, but the US could still take the lead in long haul autonomy if nationwide laws are put in place. The road to fully autonomous trucks is a long and winding one. Will regulations provide a shortcut to adoption or a detour that delays their arrival? Thanks for being a part of this eye-opening explanation. If you're excited to learn more, like, subscribe, and share this video to stay in the loop on the happening in the trucking industry.